summer brunch season is here and helping us get our taste buds ready for it. Sweet Paris Crepery and Luciano Espinosa, manager at the Shop to Lock and Terra location, is joining us now. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, how are All you? Right. First question. Yes. This is the one that I made in the 1250 teas. How'd I do? Great. That's a great, you're a great student, actually. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And once again, a crepe is just a thin pancake, basically, right? Basically, exactly. Okay. Um, you just spread the batter on the crepe maker and, mm -hmm. and voila, you can get a nice crepe. Now, this and remember, is... the good thing about crepes is that you can actually uh, throw in whatever ingredient you have handy at home. You can do savory, you can do sweet, you uh -huh. can do breakfast. So, and that's what you have out there. Now, if somebody's making these at home, what's the trick to it? If you don't obviously have this one function crepe maker. As long as you have the right ingredients, you know, the eggs, the flour, uh, well beaten and all of that, mm -hmm. you'll be good to go to make a nice crepe. And I think most people think of savory crepes and, or excuse me, sweet crepes. And one of the classics to do is some Nutella on here. And that's one of your great dishes at your place, right? Exactly. The Nutella crepe, uh, that is the old traditional uh, and signature crepe that we have. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's Excuse Nutella, me. and then what else is in there? Uh, we have strawberries and bananas in there. And then to garnish, we have powdered sugar, whipped cream on the side, and a drizzle of chocolate on top. Okay, now comes the fun part as I'm trying yes. to decorate this. You just spread the Nutella there. All right, so put it on a corner, let it kind of get heated up a little bit, and then we start to spread. And this is fun because this thing is really, There you really go, you're going to make a uh, great oh, crepe maker now. Yeah, I think so, if I can get that thing, because this is really hot, so, okay. And now the whole uh, trick to enjoying a great, see I get nervous on TV here, a great crepe is what you wash it down with, and that's what you're really promoting out there at Sweet Paris, right? In right. The mimosas. Right, summertime is here, so the best way to, you know, enjoy it is when you have brunch with friends and family. You can always do mimosas, you can pair them with a sweet crepe, a savory crepe, or a breakfast crepe. What flavors you got going over there? We have the traditional orange juice, mm -hmm. we have lavender, we have raspberry, and we have passion fruit. So which would go with this one? I would say the raspberry one. It's great to enjoy with a Nutella crepe. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and plate it. There we go. Ha ha. All right. I'm two for two now. Yay. And then you gotta decorate a little bit, right? We're gonna garnish this crepe with a little bit of chocolate drizzle on top, mm -hmm. powder sugar, and some whipped cream on the and side of course, right here. And a little bit of mint. All right, exactly. So while you are doing the, that, and describe the other savory crepes that we have going yeah, on. Yeah, right this one we the have one here the is the Alaskan crepe. It's a nice breakfast crepe. You get the smoked salmon in there, mm -hmm. scrambled eggs, um, a little bit of dill sour cream, and lemon juice. It's a really great crepe. And also this one here is the uh, Canadian, where you get the bacon, potatoes, scrambled eggs, and maple syrup. It's a great so combination. It's a big hearty breakfast brunch, but if you put it in a crepe, it just doesn't seem like it's that heavy of a meal for some reason. Exactly. Okay. And then again, with a nice mimosa, you can pair it and voila. Mm. This one I'm making here is the lavender one. And this goes with the, the nice sweet. So, okay. And exactly. you're out there again at the shops at La Cantera. The shops at La Cantera, exactly. Where exactly and what other big store? We are right across from Grimaldi's Pizza mm -hmm. in La Cantera. Oh, Jen Strusky, if you're watching right now, that Cheers. lavender mimosa you would absolutely love because she loves her lavender. And it is brunch every day. Exactly. Anytime. Okay. If you'd like more information on Sweet Crepery Cafe, head over to SALive.com, click on the Ask on SA Live tab, where we provide a link, or you can scan that QR code right there at the uh, corner of your screen. Thank you very much. Good seeing you, sir. Thank you so much for having me.